It's time again for another session of Inveris Subsurface Studio Pro Tips. My goal is to help users in ESS work smarter, not harder. Today I'm going to share new functionality in ESS, the ability to select a seismic AOI in your session. Seismic volumes can be large and cover your entire field, but maybe you're only working a small area or a particular reservoir interval. In ESS, users can only load that AOI for their seismic into their session. At the bottom of the UI or Geophysics Select Area of Interest, Open this Seismic AOI selection dialog. Here users can update the seismic loaded into their session by pre-generated regions or newly drawn areas in this handy base map. Users can also note the time or depth interval if they aren't working the entire section the seismic covers. Plus, at the bottom here, this allows the selection of one or more seismic bin grids and volumes to pull into your project. No need to bog down your session with all that seismic data if you're just working that smaller area. When working in your session, keep an eye on this icon in the lower right it is as it blinks to let you know your AOI is limiting this data being pulled into your view or session as you're trying to look at that seismic data. Return back to that dialog to update the seismic AOI as needed. Give this a try in your ESS project. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Got questions? Want to learn more? Email me at robin.marshand at or click here to learn more about Inveris Subsurface Studio.